2010 SEC Media Days, and uh, we're live at Shula Steakhouse. And Jay Barker, former Alabama National Championship quarterback, is here. How are you doing today? Doing Jay? great, thank you. Doing great. Well, Jay, uh, obviously a lot has happened in your life since winning the national championship at Alabama. Talk about uh, your affiliation with Jocks and marriage and your family and everything that's been going on with you. Boy, that's a lot right there to encompass it all. It's a matter of a few uh, minutes, but. Uh, yeah, doing jobs has been great. I mean, just expanding from, you know, not only Birmingham, but, you know, statewide, just seeing the network continue to grow. I'm excited about that. i got two great partners, and Aldo Greco and Tony Curry, that I get a chance to, we wake up every morning and do something that we absolutely love, and that's talking about sports, and particularly uh, college football. Uh, Sarah's on the road, traveling during the summer. Uh, we go with her periodically at times, and took the kids down to Watercolor this past weekend. We did a concert, Watercolor concert, and... The kids had a blast, so we're, we're staying very, very busy during the summer. I tell you, I'm so excited about SEC Media Days. Just ready to get football season kicked off. My favorite time of the year is fall. That's right. Just can't wait for that to happen. I know that's right. Well, we'll ask you one more question because we know you're busy right now. I got, right I got now. one for you. Okay. okay. Well, uh, you played under a, a great coach we all know in Gene Stallings, and we're all witnessing what Nick Saban's doing at Alabama at the moment. Compare the two coaches, and uh, do, do you see similarities between the two? I think a lot of similarities are, uh, first of all, they, they came in with a you know a plan and a purpose and the staff together that uh, they understand the common goal, and I think he does a great job of motivating not only his players but also his coaches. And Coach Stallings had the same thing. There was always this fear factor that you could feel, not only his players, we felt like the coaches feared him more. You kind of feel the same thing with Coach Saban. There's this sense of... Uh, you know, he really pushes them to be the best. There's one voice that's his. Everybody talks the same to players. Everybody, it's about, you know, a guy told me recently, you know, used to, you'd hear guys say, well, we think we'll win this weekend. we got a great chance to win. Now it's, we're going to win. We're Alabama. You know, we're going to go out there and, you know, we're going to fight as hard as we can. We're going to punish people. And so it's just a different mindset. And that's the same type of mindset and the oneness that we had back in the early 90s with Coach Stallings. Won a ton of games, knew how to win, won with special teams and defense. And you see the same thing with what Saban's doing now. That you win football games, and um, but Saban's got a great chance now. I mean, what he's accomplished in three years, you know, if he's able to stay and keep putting the recruiting classes together, it could really build a, a special dynasty in Alabama. Jay, final question. How much has the game changed in your mind since you played in 92? And as a quick follow up to that, what do you see Alabama doing? Do you see him possibly building another dynasty in the coach Saban? Uh, the, the second part, yeah, I mean, definitely a, a dynasty if he keeps getting the recruiting classes, if he stays in uh, in Tuscaloosa, which I think he will for the remainder of his career. I don't think there's anywhere else that he could go that he can accomplish the things he's not only accomplishing right now, but the future of what it could hold. Um, you know, the legacy that he could leave in college football, being at a program like University of Alabama, the tradition, the history they've got. As far as the the teams and, and back in the, you know those days, I mean, it was you know players today are so much bigger, faster, stronger. Even in just 15 or 16 years, as I finished up, it's amazing the athleticism, uh, the amount of attention to you know to detail, and they're in, in as far as the camps and the skill things that they go through to become better players. Uh, we they got guys playing wide receiver who would play tight end for us. You know they've got guys playing uh, you know running back that would have been you know linebacker position. Just you know and it's a bit you know amazing. Like Dante Hightower would be definitely would have his hands down on the ground. I mean, but he's a guy that's a linebacker that can run and, and cover backs out of the backfield. He can cover receivers. He's that quick. So uh, the game has definitely changed with the athleticism, the size of the athletes, and it's just going to keep getting better every single year. Well, thank you for being with us. Sure. Jay, Jay, you've been a long time. Thank great you. Great to catch up with you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Jeff.